Howdy folks, Speedy here, back with the next episode of Crusader Kings 2, Orthodox Russia. As you can see, uh, you know, we have already unpaused it. We are still in this war, and before we get into this, I want to thank everybody for all the views, likes, and comments. That helps the channel get promoted with YouTube algorithm. So yeah, thanks. Uh, fruitless, fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wilds. As you knock, an old crone opens. When she sees you and your hunting party, she cackles eerily and says that she has a powerful potion that will make you a stronger hunter, sure to catch any prey. Uh, no, let's go home. This is fruitless. I don't really have the money to... We have returned to your court. The hunt for this elusive white beast seems fruitless, but there are many more things out there in the wild. Maybe next time you'll catch your prey. I won't give up. Also, in the last episode, we did have a son. The Swedish Germanic Revolt. My half brother. Uh, Marshall and my other half brother. Oh, they are twins. Um, what was stewardship for him? He is already betrothed. She is our heir. He is not betrothed. What does she have? Uh, yeah. That will work. Because she is a countess with 2,500 troops. No, she will not form an alliance. Religious difference. That is a right. Because in our intrigue, we could falsely confess faith. We will lose a hundred piety. But that's our right. Alright, you are betrothed. Alright, let's see. No, she will not. Still. That's right. Even though I'm now publicly proclaiming the greatest of God or the greatness of God, I will still hold my orthodox ideas in my heart. Is the society still? No, it is not. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we are losing this war currently. We're gonna move over here, try to siege down. The Lords of Sweden Sweden have approved the institution of ruler title revocation sovereignty law. My liege are rich you with bad news. My efforts to Root out heresy and convert the population to have met with resistance. That is not good. Oh, we do not have enough troops to siege. That is not good. Ooh, wow, you're at war with a bunch of people. Interesting. Ooh, we do have a bunch of Swedish soldiers headed this way. Nope. He definitely just hired a huge retinue. Or hired a huge mercenary band. 
That is not good. Um, alright, I think it is time to... We're going to surrender in this war. We're going to take a prestige hit. And a money hit, but... It is better than the alternative. Because we currently have no military. Because they got destroyed by the Slavic revolt that is going on. And it wasn't pretty. <laughs> and if you're new here, obviously I do not min-max things, I try to roleplay, like depending on the character, but this guy is kind, humble, lustful, ambitious, brave, diligent, raw, and a drunkard. Old Christians. Hmm. Sweden is now. Oh, well, my son was in prison. That is not good. We have a peasant revolt. Our spy master has died. Oh, they did let everybody out of prison. Interesting. Wow, we do not have anybody join court. Yes. Entry. He's Catholic. He does like us. Sure, we will invite him to court. And then when he gets here, we will offer him the position of spy master. He wants to get married. Uh, he is 20, so we will look for someone close to his age. She will work. So... We need to get him um, probably studying technology. We will go down here to Constantinople as per usual. According to your marshal, the peasants of Romney are having frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. Unfortunately, I don't have any money to spare. Otherwise, I would. Oh, wow, Denmark doesn't have a whole lot left to them, do they? Father, father, calls Smudo, pulling my arm, pleading to play with him. In his latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in, I am in the middle of. Yeah, I could. How could I say no to such a sweet, innocent exuberance? All right, smooth over the. Oh, uh, I 
He is this guy. Your brave soul. And of course, my liege is not going to help me with my current situation because he's got a bunch of wars going on. But we do have an ally. Uh, Quartil had made me promise I would bury him properly and I keep my promises. I walked beside his coffin. I walked beside his coffin to Quartil's last rest in wailing. And the wailing of the mourners was almost more than I could bear. He died too young. Uh, that sucked. Um, one less mouth to feed. It's cynical. Sincere. We'll go with sincere. Wow, the rebels killed a bunch of people. My marshal. That's not good. Alright, we're gonna go to find characters and we're gonna invite to court and a steward guy, yeah. Alright, now we're gonna unpause it really quick. you will do and you will work train troops there and select actors I'm hoping soon my liege will be finished with his wars Chaplain. Wow, no, no, no. He is probably the has the best learning. Supposedly Christian. So, who has the highest money? You do. But that gentleman that just arrived in our court. Can't marry. As tr oh, he's a monk. Oh, that is most unfortunate. So we will look again. It's only three, and none of them have very good stewardship. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna go with... Look for stewardship. We're gonna invite this guy to court. Haha! <laughs> he who laughs last laughs longest. Finally, that bio idler count. Sirach has left this finer as well. Everything will definitely be better without him. I have 
a lot of extra time on my hands now. I do think Shirak skull would look fine on my mantle piece. He's kind, humble. He is rough. I'm glad Sorak's gone, but it was sure to get boring without him. Sorak has taken enough of my time and energy. No more. Yeah, that seems like. Alright. This guy is going to be our court chaplain. That is funny though, because he is obviously part of the Death Eaters. Or the old Christians. Or Lucifer's own. Sorry. Death Eaters is a different religion. We are losing this war. Uh, hopefully. Oh, I can start a faction. Did I put myself for Sweden? Overthrow King of Vladimir of Sweden. Members seek to remove King Vladimir from power and significantly increase the council of power. Once this faction is significantly powerful, Yaro Sirta of Cargo Ghoul may present an ultimatum. Yeah, let's do that. Members must be me. I'm occupied and I'm higher than a count. So, that's probably never gonna happen. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. We're gonna go to our liege, to his vassals. See if there's anybody that likes us. Fabricate this claim. We do have quite a few people that will help us. And factions. Right, you'll have to excuse me of the factions. I've never done, I've never been in a place to do a faction. So, whoa, where did we get all the gold from? Interesting. Interesting. Alright, we are. Chancellor is fabricating a claim here. We do still have. a bunch. Yeah, let's see. That's gonna be the cheapest. 
skirmish retinue. How much is it gonna cost me monthly? Is the question. We're gonna run away. Oh yeah, I wanted to give some land away. This Quick on looking. Yeah, it was this guy. Grant landed titles. Nope. Uh, yes. Grant landed title. Ubra. Council votes. No. Why? Chancellor, you want landed title? Sure. You're pretty good. You've got pretty good diplomacy. Um, research cultural tech. Oh yes, the King of Sweden is here to bail me out. Thank you, King. So, a few people left our court, but that is fine. Oh, we don't have any minor titles assigned. Court physician. Alright, we're just gonna hand out a bunch of these minor titles to try to get people to like us more. Support tutor. Hmm. You can be the court tutor. Oh, yeah. King bailed us out there. Oh, that's not going to fire. I don't have enough plot power. As greater or equal to three. But I send you a gift. And then you will join us. And what about factions? You know what? I'm going to... Cancel that one. Today I was approached by my grandfather. S killed. Apparently, he is concerned about my health and thinks I am becoming too frail and thin. If I keep eating so little, he says I will soon no longer be able to wield a sword, pleasure a woman, or even go out riding. Maybe I should eat a bit more. Yeah, we'll eat some more. Factions. How do I get people to... Join my factions? Oh, he is the technically family. <laughs> I could declare war, but that would be a suicide mission. Who are you? Infidel? What if I send you a gift? 
What does he get for a military now? 859. We are 223. <coughs> yeah, not good. Alright, it's been a pretty slow episode, but we did get a few things accomplished. I guess, uh, Eskab's advice was really the most motivation I needed to get back into shape. It was hard to adjust myself to a different diet at first, but now I am feeling much better, ready to take on whatever challenges the world might throw at me. I will have to throw out my old clothes. Alright, on that little note, we are going to wrap this one up here. And, as always, if you enjoyed the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you in the next one.